Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here, and I want to welcome you to the Early Access Edition of Subnautica Below Zero. Now, not a DLC, but definitely at this point a DLC price. It's a standalone game. You could pick it up for $20 right now on the Epic Game Store. I'm sure it's on Steam, and I'm also sure it's in other places. This is my new home, not that I don't like Steam, but Epic. I've been getting uh, quite a nice little... Oh, I've got a couple of games for free from it, and let's just say that they have my... Not my utmost loyalty, but they've gained a little bit of my loyalty. Nonetheless, here we are in Subnautica Below Zero. Let's get in and play the game. Now, I did play for about an hour. Just checking things out, it's going to say I played for a little bit longer, but I walked away from the game for quite a long time and probably died multiple times. And that's mainly because I've been sick the last couple of days. I'm just getting over some kind of flu bug right now, but I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. We're going to go in in survival mode. We're going to see what's going on. Oh yeah, and this is my first video that I'm uploading for 2000 and. 19. I've taken two, maybe a little bit more months off and oh, all different reasons, mostly personal. But nonetheless, I'm going to uh, jump right back into the thick of things, starting off with a Subnautica video, probably putting up a couple of others and moving on from there. If you're looking for my Star Citizen content, it will be here. I've just been... I've been pulling back for a number of reasons. One reason has to uh, do with my, uh, well, it's a personal thing. And I definitely 100% support and will continue to support and advocate people getting into Star Citizen, but we'll leave that for a Star Citizen video. Right now, we're working for Altera Corp, and we're going to our wonderful home of the, well, the Emperor Leviathan Youth. Let's see if they remember us. This usually takes a little bit longer than I like, but... Hmm. Oh, and another thing, that uh, hour and such, I bought a br I wanted to test out the game. So I got a brand new Mac for my company, and I'm going to be getting a Mac Mini soon. And I got an external graphics card. Now, it's nothing to write home about. My 2080 in that I'm playing on right now is... 100% um, amazing and probably a world better than what I am running on my Mac, but I got an external Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, and inside of it is a Radeon 590X from Sapphire. The thing is freaking cool. Well, it makes my Mac fly. It doesn't matter for any other reason, but I got it for video editing, not for gaming. But I wanted to test it out just to see if when I get my Mac Mini with its beautiful 6-core i7, if it's going to be able to hold up against some mid-range gaming PCs. Here we go. I'm going to be quiet for a bit. Hmm, looks like we're waking up. What is that noise? Oh! It's our PDA. Turn it off. Let's go look around. So we start off in what looks like a nice little area. Um, it's a survival game, and if you're going to talk about the graphics, the graphics are not going to be optimized. This game is 100% in development. In fact, I think there is something I could probably do. Let's go into graphics and just check some things off. Color grading is off. Bloom, less dirt, depth of field. Let's take the depth of field off. That should give us a little bit of frames back. And there. We should be fine for a little bit. All right, so we've got a nice little habitat here. It's a survival game. I guess that is us, Robin Goodall. Those are a bunch of penguins. Well, they look like penguins anyway. And there's no interaction in this game except for things like this. And that's only for the intro. 
In the last game, you start off. Let's see what we this is. Different, but we go together. There we go. That was the Emperor Leviathan. So in the last game, you start off very, very quickly. You're falling out of the sky and jump right into things. Here, you're pretty much Robin Goodall. Here you are. Here's your little interview process. And you're going out to planet 456 blank 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 B. And you're going here to pretty much take a look at everything and make sure everything is running the right way. Well, what you're trying to do is make contact with alien life forms. We're going to find that out little by little. But this is the research station that you're in, and I am longing for being able to build something like this. Cargo room is over there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's Robin's quarters. This must be Jeffrey's quarters in here. He's the guy that is my research partner right now. All right, let's go in here, take a look, and see what we get over here. Another abandoned PDA, and this one is weekly report, and this one is just going to be please rate your operations performance in your own words, and she definitely doesn't like what's going on. <laughs> I think she's only here because her sister is in the Vespa. We'll find that out in just a little bit. If you're wondering what the Vespa is, we'll look at that in a second. So get your bearings. Zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean located near the planet's equator, which is unusual. Environment conditions leave this area in almost permanent winter. Interrupted by extreme weather events, for unknown reasons, it was selected by the aliens as a hub for their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42. And it goes on that there's three to six people that could live here. Right now, I see two bedrooms, so they probably want you to sleep with people. <laughs> Over here, a lot of cool stuff. I hope we get to be able to build things. That is the Vesper. Not so bad. Now, there's no coddling of you in this game right off the bat. They're still developing a lot of things. Like I said, graphics. I'm wondering why graphics are just horrible right now. Um, finding that it's much worse than it was yesterday with the same quality. Ah, we'll deal with it. So here we are in another area. This looks like the research facility or the lab. I'm going to go in here. Research notes and it's just a bunch of numbers. And this just talks about how everything here was fixed. You have the emperor relies on an ecosystem for a food chain. Emperor produces enzyme. Peeper delivers enzyme back to the ecosystem. Pretty cool. That's a modification station. None of this stuff can we use here. They really just want you moving through this area very quickly. But... It's pretty cool. I like how they have everything set up, and I'm praying to God that they let us set it up the same way. All these lockers and special things around here. All right. Let's go out this way. Up. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a greenhouse up ahead. And this is our task list. Induct new support personnel. Personnel. To do. <laughs> a lot of cool things going on here. It always looks like one of the other items on my list. All right, so this is a beautiful greenhouse. Oh, God, please let us build this. What are those up there? Are those lights or oxygen? What is that? Cool. Maybe it's moisture evaporators. Who knows? Oh, my Lord, look at this hydroponics lab. Oh, please, please, please let us make something like this. They're just putting pieces together. Hopefully, they come up with a different way of doing that. They should have just made round pans that went in there. Oh, this is really cool. All right. Look up. Really cool. All right. Maybe those are the speakers making it sound like there's birds and bees in here. Meaning flora and fauna. 
All right, so we're stepping outside into this wasteland, this Arctic wasteland for the first time. And it doesn't look so bad. Look at this. We have two, count them, two prawn suits to play with. Oh, that's cool. Station this, Zero, this is Vesper. Come oh, in. We gotta listen Hi, to her. We lost contact with Jeffrey at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the form of it's cute, but we've shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks, we've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. Find Jeffrey's chat later. Yes, Mom. You got it. So evidently, there's a lot going on here. This is the research center. Uh, we gotta go the other way, but there's actually a ladder right here that they're going to let us use. That's pretty cool. We can go down into the water if we want to. It's a frozen off a waterfall over there. You see it? That's cool. So we're going to come down this way and take a look at all the beautifulness. <laughs> beautifulness. Look at this thing. This place is gorgeous. What the hell is this thing? Uh. Whoa! They're hot. And I don't mean hot. <laughs> so they give heat. So if we're cold, we can walk uh. up to them and get some heat. Yeah, she's getting beaten up. Uh, they are kind of spooky the way that they look at you, though. Up, oh, they all turn. That's pretty wild. Nice use of the uh, light sticks. I never figured out what to do with them in the other game. Or I never had a reason to use them. I didn't build on land. I would just light up my house with the creep vine. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Pretty good. So, green. We're getting up. We're coming up on... This must be a cave. They melted it out. Or drilled it out. Pretty cool. Nice graphics. A little slow. Not optimized yet. A lot going on. They probably still have a lot of debuggers or garbage collectors on. Pretty cool. I'm sure this just goes around in a circle. What is this stuff? I wonder if it matters later. It's just another part of the cave over there. Part that we can't get into. All right. So Jeffries is missing. He must be in here somehow. We'll try to get in there as quickly as possible. Run. Up. Access denied. Further efforts will be denied forcefully. Proceed, Robin. How do you know my name? I come in peace. Sam, the building just powered up. It spoke to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffreys. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. I think it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Sam? Damn it! Well, there's got to be a combination that lets us in there. So there's an electrical storm coming. we got to get back to our habitat. Just to wait it out. Now... We've got to get out of this place. There's no stamina bar in this game, so you could run forever. Whoa! That blocked my way. Kind of nuts. Okay, I see. Can I scooch under here? Nope, I can't. Alright, this kind of looks... Yes, it was. It was kind of set up like a stairwell, so we'll go this way. I tell you, last night, I listened to the opening and I walked away, hacked up a lung, and uh, didn't play much more after that. Pretty cool. 
I'm liking it. I guess we should go somewhere. This is probably going to take us a long way back. I saw that waterfall, so we're probably going in that direction. Um, we want to walk. It's not letting me go that way. But, yeah. Are there things that I could find up here? Maybe a PDA that tells me where Jeffries is? All these plants are pretty cool, though. Alright, coming through the ice. Alright, we made it down that one. Alright, there's the research center. What the... Oh, yeah. That wasn't good. They just busted my research center. Huh. That does not bode well for me. Uh-oh. Now we're underwater. Still nothing. I'm sure this can be no longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, high wind speeds will cause lethal exposure in four minutes. All right, so we got out of there pretty quickly. I learned something by watching somebody else's video. That gives me oxygen, which is the coolest thing. I don't know if they were in the last game, but they really do look cool now. All right, so this area, we should be able to get a little bit of O2 right here. All right, we need food. We're going to be going wherever we're going and having to get food immediately. All right. Well, I know right off the bat I could eat this stuff. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. And I'm not really being led in any direction. We're going to eat new you. You're my new friend. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, it's getting dark. Is it getting dark or is there an eclipse going on? Alright, maybe we could get up here and play with the penguins. They don't want us getting up there with the penguins. Robin, come in. I copy. All right. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine. I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Thank you, Sam. Oh, there's Call a Vesper. Oh, that's pretty cool. Battery that you can low. See it. We'll have to take care of that battery low remark. So if that's the Vesper, where is this thing that's sinking to Charging us right battery. now? Where is it? She said, look up. I'm looking up. Oh, there it is. 200 meters away. It looks pretty cool. That graphic of the water did not look good. Uh, maybe it does. 97. Okay, we don't want to get hit by it. I'm sure whatever it is will hurt. Oh, it's a little escape pod. Oh shit, it sunk. Oh, it's an underwater pod. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's go in it. All right. We have water that we have to make. Sam, I'm at the habitat. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing yet. And the facility? It said my name. I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat. Get equipped. I'll have answers by then. Will do. I made something to eat. So let's go back over here. Let's eat. Let's have a little bit to drink. And let's get out of here and start looking around. Hmm. Of course, they give us things very, very close that we could start hitting. We don't have a lot of oxygen to play with in the beginning. All right, those look familiar.
Yeah, I watched uh, IGP, I think it is, and saw a couple of things that he did. 15 seconds, I can make it, so I'm not going to worry. We're not going too far away from here. Oxygen. I wish they changed the voice inside my PDA. <laughs> I would want hers to sound... Oh, an eye fish. New hey. discovered. Are we? Oh, we're not that deep, so we can actually go up to the surface if we want to. All right, so there's limestone everywhere over here. Let's go up, get some oxygen. And there's all bits and pieces of things over here. Oh, that storm is still raging. It's a gravity ball, whatever you call it, gravity trap. Yeah, you are my friend, and you are going to go in my belly. 27 seconds, nothing, nothing else. Oxygen. Oh, look what's over there. Let's see if the creep vine has what the old ones did. Maybe it has creep vine seeds. But I don't see anything glowing, which is kind of weird. Yeah, nothing glowing. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow. This could be bad. We're going to have to worry about where we are. Alright. We're going to have to worry about where we are under the ice so we don't get ourselves stuck under a piece of ice. Alright, so there's got to be more... Yep, there is. Right there. We haven't found the missing copper yet. Oh, there it goes. There's copper. I must have gotten one before. It didn't go do do do. Let's close that out. Yeah, this one's not making use of the ability for me to record directly from the computer or from the game because it's in development, I think they left out the hooks that would let Shadowplay record it. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can get a bunch of stuff to make a few tools here. Making tools is going to be our primary focus for this beginning piece. And getting all of our sustenance. There we go. Here's one of those issues. I'm sure we're going to need to find more of that weed. And I don't see any more. I think it was called ribbon weed. Oh, hey, Mr. Hoopfish. What is that? I thought there'd be a lot more here. A lot more that I could take stuff from. 12 seconds. Oxygen. What did we learn? That's more than enough time to get up to the surface. Didn't we learn that? It doesn't look so bad up here anymore. Now we have this. Alright, let's get back and let's start seeing what we can build. We want to build a scanner at least and maybe a knife. We'll see what we can build. This should tell us. So the first things first, we got enough resources to make a battery. Battery I knew was the ribbon weed instead of the mushrooms. We did get glass. And we do have titanium. We're going to make rubber. And we're going to make another thing of rubber. And so then we're going to make our flippers. We're going to need to find fiber mesh, which I think we found. And we're going to make some tools. We're going to make our scanner. We're going to make our flashlight. And we're going to make our knife. 
And then we're going to get them set up right in here. So scanner will be my number one, two, three. All right, so we've got some stuff that we could put away here. Not sure what we're going to do with it all, but I think I should eat something else. So we'll put the bladder fish and that away. We'll eat these two fish. Let's get that done. Staying well hydrated and staying well fed is going to be important like it is in every game. So Mr. Eyefish, thank you for that extra jolt of water. That worked. Alright, so we're going to have a little bit more maneuverability underwater. In other words, a little bit more speed. I have a feeling we're going to need some more of this. Um, we can scan this now. And of course, even though we scanned everything and probably sold it to Altera, we have to scan it again in this game. So there really aren't a lot of other plants that we can scan right now. It seems like just the few that are important. Alright, I want to go back and make as much fiber mesh as I can because I noticed one thing that this particular habitat doesn't have. And that is a medical kit. So I do not think that they're going to have that in our habitat. I didn't see one in the other habitat either. They probably think, why would you need that down there? Who's going to get hurt? So we're going to make a bunch of fiber mesh. And that way, if we need a health pack, we can come back here and just fabricate one real fast. So, what else can we make with this? Oh, we can make the extra tank. So we're going to make the tank. And there it is. Fiber mesh is going to stay here. We can make a beacon now, too. That's pretty cool. Let's just get all this in here. And let's drink that bottle of water. That's good. We're at 100, 100. So there were, on the way over here, a bunch of pieces to the sea glide. There's one right here. And I'm sure there's one... Well, that stuff doesn't grow back very quickly. Wow, now you have to find three pieces. It used to be just two pieces. Maybe they're playing with making it just a little bit harder. There's another piece right there. Kind of stuck into the rock. I feel like something just hit me. That's cool. Oh, wow. That was a weird place for that to be. Here's another one of these. It's going to say, boom, you made it. Let's go up to the surface real fast while I get my bearings. We came from that direction, I believe. All right, so we're going to get as much glass as we can because I have a feeling we're going to need it. All right, let's take a look at things. I thought I saw more pieces out this way because we did swim past them on the way here. Yeah, I think that they still have to build out this game a little bit. They're keeping things just a little bit close to their chest over here making it so you can't see everything. That is going to be very important, I know. All right, so I think I see the last piece. Oop. You do gain back your oxygen better. All right, there it is. So we've got something for lubricant. And I guess they're giving you a lot more of this limestone now because they know that you have to acquire a lot more titanium since there's no metal wreckage in this area. All right, let's scan this just for poops and giggles. We could read this when we get back to our 
tiny little habitat. You know, the habitat they gave us doesn't have a bed, which is pretty horrible. All right, so let's go and build our next thing. I'm going to need you. All right, we're going to make our way back. We'll get as much titanium as we can get because I think we're going to need a little bit of it. Now, those storms, from what I understand, happen a lot. All right, there's more down here of this. And, of course, Bitch and Betty isn't going to be reminding us about 30 seconds of this one so much. A little bit harder than the game that I came away from. I absolutely loved Subnautica. It was like an amazing, amazing game. And I still play it all the time. I love building my bases. I love seeing all the cool stuff underwater. Um, this frame rate here is killing me though. Let's get back here. Oh wow, there's one more at least over there. Like I said, just trying to get as much of the titanium as I can get. And then we're going to put together our sea glide and listen to what Robin has to say after that. I'm thinking the sea glide is going to be another event. All right. So a couple of things a little bit broken over there. So we're going to bring in this. We're going to bring in this. Bring in that. And all that titanium. And that bladder fish, just in case. So first things first. We know that a sea glide normally takes that. And we know that it normally takes that. And we know it definitely takes that. Let's see if we did it. Nope, we're missing copper wire. Couldn't remember. We definitely have some more things that we can make. We have to make a repair tool. That's going to be fun. All right, so let's make the sea glide. I don't know why I clicked off it. Oh, the cat jumped on the button over there. There it is. And we didn't get that same message about exercising. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that change over time. And I guess we could put everything back in here. Since we can't make anything readily. And we're going to leave our water behind. Okay, let's go take a look. Let's ride in our sea glide. Ah, oh, they still have that stupid mode. Let's see how far we can go. I saw this kelp forest over here. We'll go there, but I just used a lot of the glass, so we'll just replenish at least two of them, just in case. There, and we replenished one of the, and hopefully two of the, nope, two of the, nope. Here's the kelp forest, okay. Creep vine, different color creep vine. Lots of stuff down here. Lots of quartz. 30 seconds. Oh, it does tell you 30 seconds. That's good. A lot of quartz down here, definitely. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold. I lost all my gear and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency cash. Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. Could be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. So I'm sure that came to us a little bit premature because I started going out this way before that. All right, high capacity oxygen tank. Okay. Blueprint acquired. High capacity oxygen tank, and we're just going to fill up go back down again so there seems to be an alien device right here precursor technology let's see what this says 
And it's gain rewards towards precursor technology. That's all it said. Oh, this gold, different types of metal down here, silver. So it, she led us to the silver. That's what she did. All right, I'm not, I'm not happy about this. This looks scary. And we're going to have 30 seconds to get out of here. 30 seconds. See? See what I mean? It is definitely a place I want to come back to. I'm going to I'm going to take a little bit more of a look inside of it. Otherwise, why would we be brought here if we weren't supposed to go inside of it, right? So there is a little bit here. Different things in the sandstone here. We're getting titanium and gold. That looks like it's a generic bowl. Alright, so different loot tables in this one. I'm not feeling it under here. 30 seconds. I'm just not feeling it. I'm feeling a little bit confined. Let's make sure that we have a little bit of what we were looking for. Do we have that silver? We have two silver, so we can make our we can make our oxygen tank better. I'm gonna look for some more stuff and possibly potentially fill up. Oh, should have known better. What the hell are you? Spinnerfish? New creature discovered. That was weird. I have a feeling we're gonna die down here. Yeah, I don't like it. We're gonna get out of here. I don't know how we're going to get out of here. But we're going to get out of here. Can we get more oxygen from you? There we go. Which way is out? That's the question. This seems to go back down. I need to go up, not down. Up, not down. Up. Alright. This is in a whole different place, is it? Nope. sanctuary in the twisty bridges 200 meters down i need to go back to the research site i can't let you why not boss's orders we're trying to keep you alive only because salaries cost less than lawsuits is that cynicism making you friends down there sure they're just not human the files are on your data bank do as you please just tell me what you find and don't get me into trouble so I think that's going to be it for episode one. Let's go build our ex oxygen tank, and we'll take episode two into where we go into the twisty bridges. I, I just think that right now I want to make sure I have a couple of things taken care of before we do that. So here we go with upgrading our... Well, we're going to be able to upgrade that. I think we have to do this. And then we could upgrade it. I, I never understood why it just didn't let us do that. All right, so. Oh, wow, what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the fiber mesh from in there.
And we might be missing glass. Let's make glass. And let's make our... We need another glass. Luckily, oh, I, I knew that because I took those two extra pieces of glass. All right, so let's do this. And we are done. We are going up to 135%. I'm going to play through to what we find in the Twisty Bridges, and then probably I'll do some updates over time as they start releasing more stuff on the game. Pretty excited about it. I like it. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment in the comments section below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. It will help my channel continue to grow. And if you do subscribe, please click that bell-shaped icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And with that said, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.